<laughs> yeah. So we're already preparing to go to Orlan. It's got a big shopping list on the go here. So we're really gonna start thinking about how much we can actually fit in the fridge on our boat. We're already gone over the quota by the looks of the trolley at the moment, so we'll see. But we need, uh, so we have four people for the first week, and then for the next half a week, we've just got us to the show. Lots of barbecuing and all sorts of stuff by the looks of it. Are we loaded up and ready to go? I think we will have enough. Hey! hey. I don't think we have anchor bombs enough. But you said five, I took six. We've got six. I calculate the days that we're going to be out. And there's not one today. No, maybe get two more. So. In Sweden, we have to buy all our real alcohol in a store called Systembolaget. Uh, they have the monopoly, they're run by the government also. Uh, no other shop can sell above sort of 3.5% alcohol. It's always, you have to come to this store to get uh, all of the stuff. But they're usually pretty good and the staff are really helpful and friendly and they know what they're selling. They have a pretty good selection too. And if you want anything special, they can order it for you. So it's pretty, pretty good service. We've got some more anchor bubbles now, so we have a tradition. Every time we make a successful anchoring, we uh, we have a bottle of bubbly to go with it. So we can only anchor eight times now, and then we sink the boat. Or <laughs> I almost forgot my Lagunitas Maximus Decimus Meridius. Why? Because it gets the night going off good. morning we're starting our second holiday now from um, from Stockholm uh, last night we stayed out I didn't film any of that because we were in a bit of a rush last night uh, so we're just heading north towards our now uh, we've got a cracking wind behind us it's blowing about 10 knots on a beam reach and we're doing about seven and a half or eight knots it's really uh, awesome 7.3 now 7.3 knots Really nice sail, and we got a boat full of Danes now. Meet Sarah, this is Tanya's sister. Hi, hi. Nikolai's hiding somewhere down there as well. <laughs> Sun's just coming out, the rain's gone away, and uh, yeah, we should be there. Yeah. 7.9. I calculated a speed of four knots yesterday getting there, but we're doing like seven, seven and a half now, so we should be there really quickly. Nikolai's tried some fishing earlier with absolutely no success when the seagulls tried to steal his lure many, many times. <laughs> so, and yeah. We're sailing too fast. Yeah, we'll get there too early. No, but... we're sailing too fast for his for him to be able to fish because it's not sinking fast enough. Yeah. But it's a great sail. What are we thinking about up here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Just got to take this uh, cover off now because one of the hinges is bent. So I'm going to get the whole cover off just to hammer in the hinge there um, happened with the previous charter I think uh, of course they knew nothing about it but it could have just been a run trapped in the lid there somewhere uh, yeah. could have happened to anybody but it's just, uh, just a question of hammering the hinge so yeah just doing it under sail got to be a bit careful that the jib doesn't come across and hit the uh, lid on the front but we're getting there Some wing on wing sailing now. Oh, Nikolai. <laughs> uh, just rigged a preventer on the starboard side. Seems to be helping, but you know, as soon as you mention it, then something goes wrong. But just rigged the rope down around the back of the cleat and up to the jib up there. Ooh. 
really helps with the downwind sailing just keeping the jib on the same side that you want it to be and then you can uh, goose wing or uh, do some wing on wing sailing it's doing 6.1 knots in seven knots of wind it's not bad yeah perfect sailing today Uh, maybe the mains a little too far over you see it see it leaning against the spreaders a bit too much you might pull that in in a second what's going on Nicolay? Not doing? much. Waiting for the coals so yeah. we can barbecue some chicken. What was this called? This place? <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> All that comes to my mind now is Arlanda. <laughs> <laughs> That's the airport in Stockholm. Well, maybe it's called Highlander. There can only be one. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to moor on a wooden dock for a change. It's uh, nice and easy to get off the front of the boat and back on again. And uh, Yeah. The winds are blowing a bit from the side, but they've calmed down now and we're expecting uh, great winds tomorrow to sail to uh, Orland into Mariaham. So, yeah, it's uh, coming up to the end of August now, so it's starting to cool down a little bit already in our, in our short summers in Sweden, but still nice all the same. Um, we're just cooking some chicken on the barbecue. Went in the sauna earlier. Uh, that was really nice, nice and refreshing. It can be difficult. <laughs> talking about stuff after after a couple of beers and some champagne <laughs> it's hard to find the words but cool. that chicken's cooking like a bad boy at the moment problem is we've just run out of beer bad times this is an epic dinner definitely I mean you got some chicken Chimping? pasta a chili sauce Mm. Mango, chili. mango chili sauce. Mango chili sauce. Rosé. Yeah. Cheers, man. That's mm. really nice. Mm. You got some rosé, I got some beer. Mm. Happy days. And the flies are not coming in to attack us too much yet. Maybe yet. in a minute. Mm. <laughs> okay, this is on the floor now. So don't step in the pasta. Roger, roger. <laughs> it's all about getting that thumbnail on that YouTube video. <laughs> Clickbait. Chris, this is from Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll get followers, Chris. <laughs> exactly, right? Captain <laughs> 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 stop fishing I need, already? I need a fucking mother learn. I don't know what to catch with. <laughs> it sounds like you're getting desperate, Nikolai. We're just fishing now. Don't get this. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a beautiful morning in Arholm and uh, is it Arholma? Arholmana. I didn't yeah, think it had the M and the R on the end. Anyway. A at the end. Yeah. We have winds in the perfect direction to do a crossing over to Orland today with downwind sailing again. So. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. <sighs> Tanya, Tanya and Sarah have been there for their morning ritual swim. Yeah. It's been great. Yes. Yes, yeah. I'm nice and warm. Yeah, we, we, we don't swim in the morning. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. Your no. wusses. No. We don't swim in the night. And the <laughs> boat is surrounded by fish. Well, maybe not after our swim, but <laughs> this morning it was. Fish yeah. and jellyfish. Oh, there's some big ones over there, Nikolai. Fuck yes. Come on, what are you doing? You're not going to catch I'm anything with the rod out of the water, mate. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm making a decision on what to put on. Yeah. Look at this. It's really nice. The sun's actually come out. Oh, Nikolai, have you seen this? Oh, shit, they're just standing there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna drop a lure down. Get one up. It's like it's like fish in a barrel, mate, but just not in a barrel. If you can see that. Oh, I need a polarizing lens really. God, that's a lot of fish around the boat. I'm not a morning person, so it's like, I think it's half past eight now. Just do some preparations to go, crossing should take around about six or seven hours, but we've got some good wind behind us, I think it's uh, 
about 10 to 15 knots behind us so that should be perfect actually not too much not too little um, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice sailing day and then we stop in uh, marina today we we're heading towards uh, maria ham i think it's the capital of orland uh, so we can get some power into the boat and maybe we we'll go to a restaurant tonight and uh, check out the town we see chris are you ready for the most cheesy kind of fishing ever <laughs> So we just got to get the barbecue off as well, secure everything, get the boat ready to go and sail away in probably about 40-50 minutes. Sweet. You should be able to release that spring first of all. Yeah. So and then Nikolai you can get ready with the anchor in a minute See and you. then you release the starboard side Yeah. and then the port side. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to release the spring. You can get on the boat and slip the ropes. You yeah, can, you I'm going to release the spring mm. and walk it over so it doesn't get in the water. Yeah. Well, it, it is in the water, so. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter. I think I have too many miles of cribs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I just can't on, keep, keep, keep tight on there, man. Chris, I'm just really in there, man. I can't keep it in. Yeah, yeah, just keep, keep pulling it in. We're off. <laughs> the sky is beautiful and so are you. I wanna make it up to you, start something new. Yeah, I've been thinking of the parts I play for you. Now I'm drinking from the bottle You gotta have to be quick man, I got that chain <laughs> You already have the chain? <laughs> so, just set course for Maria Ham. Nikolai's doing some fishing out there We're going too fast for his liking though I need to find a place with no wind apparently In the middle of the sea <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean Just with the mainsail out now we're doing Six knots, uh, completely downwind. As you can see with the mainsail up there, the, the big problem with the swept back spreaders there is that the main leans against them up there. And I'm not sure actually, or I'm not experienced enough to comment on how much you can lean the sail on the, uh, on the spreaders. You shouldn't put too much pressure on them, of course, but yeah. If you could tell me in the comments, that'd be great. But, uh, or if you have experience of any rip sails on the spreaders, then tell me also. I don't think we'll bother putting the uh, jib up. I might give it a go and put a preventer on it and try and do some really nice downwind speeds. But um, on second thoughts, let's get the jib out. Let's give it a go. It was perfect yesterday with that rope on the uh, on the starboard side with the preventer. It was great. So it's sort of behaving at the moment. I'll get my life jacket on in a minute. This Rizzy isn't that safe. But uh, just got a preventer running down there, and maybe I should run it the other side of that. Yeah, there's some chafage going on, but. Uh, as long as it behaves and doesn't do a lot of that, then I'm just going to leave it up. It needs to be a stronger wind, really, and then it will keep it in place. But it gives it such. A much better shape actually, just by putting that preventer on rather than using the self tacking jib line. Works out pretty nicely. It hasn't given us that much more speed, perhaps half a knot, a knot maybe, but yeah, that's okay. Leaving Sweden now, coming out of the archipelago, the northern part of the archipelago. on the fishing front. No, nope. going Nic too fast, man. <laughs> Nikolai's trying his best, but you know, still hoping we get no wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 
So I took the jib down in the end because even with the preventer it was flapping all over the place. I think it's because of the uh, the waves coming from behind it rocks the boat a bit and then the sail starts flapping all over the place and so we need to fit a whisker pole really to fix that to one side that could be a nice little uh, little upgrade for these passages that we do but um, it's been great I mean the winds dropped off a bit now we're down to four knots or something but uh, it's still a nice comfortable speed Sarah's just smiling randomly now I don't know why she's you happy? Yes. <laughs> that's good that you're happy. Nobody seasick, that's also a good thing. I'm just going to start looking at the best way into Maria Ham uh, through the channel in a minute. So, But it looks fairly straightforward. It's not too many rocks and things like that. Ferries go in there all the time, so it's got to be quite wide. Had to take the flag down to accommodate Nikolai's fishing. <laughs> I would love the captain for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is uh, this is a perfect crossing weather. Land ho! <laughs> Land ho! You need you need Lieutenant Dan up in the post there. <laughs> we'll, we'll go for an expedition. Hello. Sweet slash thin. Yeah. <laughs> what language do you prefer? <laughs> I speak all of them. I speak Spanish. Snoopy doopy loopy. Skippy doopy doopy. Big waves. Oh. Oh, nice one. Oh shit! <laughs> it's the biking line. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! One fell down. One fell down. Oh no! <laughs> Is that from Viking Man? Oh my god! No, these are from the other way. Whoa! Jesus, mother of god! <laughs> They're two meter waves. Yeah. That okay. was 600 meter waves. <laughs> That's good. What about you, Sarah? Same. The same? We got about a uh, 10 meter waves out here. <laughs> you see the, the sails stretch out? Our captain, uh, he could get them a couple more meters out, but he don't want to. Yeah. Here's our captain. Doing uh, eight knots now. Headed towards the wrong harbor in Maria Hand, so we need to uh, go around the bottom basically of the headland and then come around again. Yeah? Yeah. Heading that way now. So, what, what makes it the wrong harbor? I mean, wrong could be right, right? Yeah, we're headed for the ferry terminals. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I yeah. see. Then we go around the other way. As you see, guys, this, this boat is not a ferry because it has sails, right? Normally you would have a chimney right here, but there are sails here. <laughs> We have arrived in Orland. Awesome. Nikolai is trying to fish again, but we keep doing like seven, seven and a half knots. <laughs> Terrible. It's not working for him. No. Sarah's, uh, I don't know, spying on local no. Swedish Finnish people. And Tanya's on extreme navigation. 
<laughs> yeah, but the captain's not listening. <laughs> so we're just coming up the channel now to um, Maria Ham, the east port. Uh, I initially headed for the west port, so the captain completely got the wrong place. Um, oh, yeah. And for that he will pay. It's going to cost you a round tonight. <laughs> yeah. We have jumped. Only cost me an extra one or two nautical miles though, so it was alright. But uh, this place looks beautiful so far, so... Green stick, right ahead! Green stick, red stick! And apparently we jumped from the letter C to the letter K. Yeah? So we have to go back and find you. We missed all the other letters. Yeah. <laughs> we have to go back. So on the way in, there's letters actually that tell you which... Um, uh, to follow the channel, but we went to A, B, C, D, K, so that didn't really work well. I haven't seen the D. I saw the D, I think. But... 